It's Hot Topics Week Live on the Wendy Williams Show. The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. All Hot Topics, all hour long, all week. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Shady bunch. How are you doing? I'm doing okay because it's our weekend. So let's get started. It's time for hot topics. glad to be part of the club <laughs> because you know I never really put much thought into being a mom but then when it started happening and we started having miscarriages and stuff I was like oh no 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 and like I'm a very determined woman thanks Brendan um, <laughs> but when it happened you know the first time I'm just like oh no I'm not gonna be left out of this movement. <laughs> I, I never gave it much thought, but, but by hook or by crook, I'm gonna be a mom. <laughs> and so, yeah, very nice. Um, and so like I said, our audience is all full of moms and shout out to you moms watching right now. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, and I'm, I'm very consistent on what I like on Mother's Day, even when he was goober like this, like my first Mother's Day, I was like to my husband, go. Take him with you and get out and don't come back until the sun goes down. <laughs> and I sit around the house, you know I'm a robe woman. Robe, turban, you know, <laughs> fluffy slippers. And I watch, watch Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> like all day. So, I'm celebrating by um, hosting, actually, Lifetime Movie Network invited me to host the whole weekend. Maybe you've seen some of the commercials. I know. I know. So, <laughs> so it's already recorded, so I'll be at home with you watching some of my favorite Lifetime Movie Network movies like Don't Mess With Mommy. It's, <laughs> It's called the Don't Mess With Mommy Weekend. Anyway, the movies are, that, that are selected are like Mother's Revenge, Where's My Baby. Uh, so look, all that begins tonight at eight o'clock. It goes all weekend long. Grab a snack and watch along with me. <laughs> you know, it's like a weird thing, but the saying is find something that you really like and then, you know, work there. You know, and who doesn't love LMN? So, yeah. yeah. All right, so anyway. Brad Pitt better be careful or his marriage to Angelina Jolie could be over. The only one cheering is Jennifer Aniston. Well, according to the Star Magazine, Brad is getting too close with his co-star. She's a French woman named Marion. This is not such a good picture of her because it, her hair's pulled back, but she's got this slinky hair and she's got this way about her and she's really young and they're reportedly working on a movie together about um, spying. Kind of like when Angelina and Brad worked on... Okay. What is sexier than a woman with a gun strapped to her thigh? Anyway, so this is how they met on Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and you recall that he was married to the, to the long-suffering Jennifer Aniston. And <laughs> 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 and 
And, uh, and so now he's working with Marion on the same type of movie, except obviously a different era. And please don't be mistaken, because this could be a dicky, like not a full outfit. That, you, you, you know what I mean? You know a dicky. You know how a dicky only goes to here? When she takes that rain, look, you see her hands on the knot. Wait, show her hand on the knot. Marion's. Should I move my chair? Yeah, see? She's about to pull it off. Anyway, um, Angelina is reportedly paranoid and really jealous of their relationship. Well, you know what, Angelina? Considering how you met P Brad, I, I am sure, dear. I am sure that you are having plenty of sleepless nights because how you get them is how you lose them. <laughs> Anyway, but here's my thing. She shouldn't act too jealous or rack her brain because she's got all those children. She really has to focus on her family and just let Brad do what Brad's gonna do because what they say, what's done in the dark always comes to life. The moms are on it, okay? But here's what's going to happen. If they're doing anything, first of all, every single person on the movie set for Marion and Brad knows how Angelina met Brad and what happened. So every single person is looking for a reason to call the Life and Style magazine or Hot Topics Bureau, or, you, you know? So Angelina, believe me you, you've got more spies on that set than you could possibly understand. Brad, uh, just please don't, don't be a repeat offender, Brad. I could never be with an actor. You know, they spend so much time in the bed and, and, and kissing and stuff. And back in the day with Errol Flynn and all those people, they weren't doing like real kissing. You know, they were those dry kisses. But these days, these actors feel like to get the Oscar, Oscar you've got to like monster ball out the way Halle Berry did. You know what I mean? Like. And. And you can't tell me that Halle, ba Halle, in my mind, you were having the real sex. <laughs> and by the way, I've never even seen Monster Ball. I have no idea what the plot is. All I know is how to fast forward to the sex scene <laughs> and then continue on with my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom might be getting married. Well, here's what happened. First, um, according to the National Enquirer, Katie and Orlando are already talking marriage after only dating for four months. Now, um, he's 39 years old and he's got a son named Flynn by the Victoria's Secret model, Miranda Kerr, who, by the way, lives right across the street from Orlando. I know. I'm so turned off. Okay, so Flynn is five. Miranda's across the street, but she's dating a multimillionaire who's hella cute. And so, um, uh-huh. Cute, right? He's got that millionaire nose. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, so Katie and Orlando were dating and they went to the Met Ball and they're already talking marriage, but she's only 29 years old and he's 39 years old and I just feel like, based on her track record, she's one of those girls who loves love, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I love love, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let grass grow under my feet. My mother and I, you know. <clears throat> I was eating my morning soup and speaking with my mother on the telephone, and I forgot who in Hot Topics we were talking about, but somebody, and oh, we were talking about Marsha Clark and how my mom really enjoyed Marsha Clark. I said, the only sad thing, mommy, is that Marsha's not dating. And so, um, you know, my mom and I both agree. You know, you need suitors, several or one or something, to keep you alive and juicy. <laughs> and I know there are a lot of women who have horrible things to say about women who monkey bar perhaps from one relationship to another or, or, or constantly dating, but you know, I enjoy the, prom the, the, um, the um, nuances of love. Like whether it happens or not, I enjoy courting and going for dinner and then falling and to try to figure it out. And I don't even mind the breakup, but I love it. So 
Katie got engaged to Russell Brand after three months of dating. Then they got married and then it went south. But the point is, is that like she, there's some people who just know, I'm not saying that's the right thing, but that's what divorce is for. <laughs> um, then she's playing mom real fast. After only dating him for two weeks, she was in the back seat with Flynn uh, going to a kid's birthday party. Now, you know it's serious when you're sitting in the back seat with the five-year-old as opposed to sitting in the front and just strapping him by that buckle <laughs> thing. Um, do I think they should get married? No, no, it's too soon. It's too soon for her. Um, he's in a different mind space, you know what I mean? And also, another thing, Katie, before you even attempt to accept a ring or even entertain one more nuance of you all getting married, you gotta make him move from across the street. <laughs> Anyway, so there are some serious allegations being made about hip hop legend Africa Bambata. Let's talk about it. Okay, if you don't know, there he is. That was the best picture we could find. Okay, to make you understand exactly who he is, in case you're not familiar, in 1982, he had Planet Rock. All right, so now you know who I'm talking about. Well, there are four men that have accused Africa Bambata of molesting them when they were children. Bam has got to be near 60 now? 59. 59, close enough. Well, now his former bodyguard is claiming that uh, Bambata had sexually uh, done something allegedly to him. Um, oh, excuse me, his former bodyguard is claiming that Bambata had sexual relationships with hundreds of underage boys, oh. including allegedly the bodyguard seeing things like, you know, walking in the hotel. And, and then when, you know, when they were touring, the allegations are that, you know, everybody in Bambata's camp would have, you know, their own hotel rooms and stuff, but he would always, he, Bambata, would always be um, having the boys stay in his rooms. Now, I must tell you that Africa Bambata is denying these allegations. And the person who originally came out, because now there are four people who've come out, but the, the original person who came out is now 50 years old. And so um, he is uh, in New York. He holds a position on the uh, New York State Committee uh, for something or another. So he's, you know, like a little politician. And he wants the statute of limitations on molestation to change. You know, because now, you know, when these grown men go to court, they want to sue Africa Bambata. If the statute of limitations is up, then there's nothing that they can do. And we all know, whether we've been victims or just being human, we all know that, you know, uh, molestation is something so difficult. Like when you're 15 years old and somebody molests you, you can't just come out and tell somebody because I guess it's a lot of embarrassment and shame that goes along with it. And now that this gentleman is 50 years old and I guess the other gentlemen are older too, they want to sue. I do think the statute of limitations needs to be raised because <laughs> it does. <clears throat> Because, you know, sometimes it's not until you get older that you realize how much something like that has affected you. Uh, but again, Africa Bambata is denying everything, but I'm watching this story closely. Okay. So in the meantime, Dolly Parton and her husband, Carl, they've been married now for 49 years. They're about to have their 50th wedding anniversary. And, and, Yes, Dolly, yes! You very rarely see Carl, he's like the Mac in the back. He supports her full career, but he does not like to have pictures taken. He's been consistent with that his whole career. Now, Dolly here, on the other hand, is a real showgirl. So Dolly goes on with her life, but it always you know, acknowledges Carl. Well, um, Dolly says they only had a small wedding the first time around, so they wanna have this big, giant 50th, um, you know, which, you know what? I, um, 
You know, I've said it before, I don't believe in renewing vows, but at 50 years, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's a good one. That is a good one. And she wants to wear a big, beautiful dress. Now, you know, she met him at the wishy-washy laundromat <laughs> in, in, in Nashville back in the day. And when he saw her, he said, I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> and he did. So it's a cute story. Dolly, a shout out to you. And I like your idea. Hey, Carl. Now, you know as a mother, you cannot really do too many things before somebody is criticizing your parenting. Yes. Dads, you too. Uh -huh. All right, so, <laughs> so the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, they've got Todd and Candy. And Todd and Candy are under fire by you, not me, for their parenting skills. Uh, take a look at this video that Todd posted. For all the dads, when you're doing daddy daycare and you're tired of holding that bottle. Which you should never get tired of holding that bottle. Check this next clip. I've invented the new baby bottle holder. <laughs> yeah, why are you doing this, Todd? This is when really daddies don't want to hold the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, first of all, I'm sure you are, like people on social media, they take themselves so seriously in these clips. I mean, they were for filthing the Tuckers. Here's the thing. After the camera went off, I'm sure he took the bottle out of the mouth and went back to feeding, number one. Second of all, you do get tired when you, when you feed a baby. Like, really? Like, I remember having pillows, Suzanne. Yes. Pillows stacked yes. up so I don't have to hold my yes. arm like that. Like, I'm not yes. that strong. Yes. And, and also, a pillow over here yes. so that I'm stacked up, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes I'd be so comfortable, tired being a new mom. Don't call Dyfus. <laughs> but I would fall asleep. Uh -huh. yes. Anyway, Candy, Todd, we're here to help you out. We made you a gift. <laughs> it's good. It's uh, a hands-free baby bottle blinged out from the show to you. I'm not judging. Happy uh, baby, you all. I'm not judging. Mm -hmm. cute. Yes, I hear maracas, which means it's time for Wendy's vacation giveaway. Come on, Suzanne. Libre. Who are you? I'm a Mexican wrestler, Luche Libre. Whoa! It's really me, Wendy. No, you really do do your homework. You yeah, study yes, for this. Yeah, though, no, you hit your arm, jump, and all that. Okay. Uh-huh. A Luche Libre, the yes. Mexican wrestler. Yes, yes. All right, it's time to meet today's contestant. Look, do your boys watch? Ooh. Let's get her on the line. Yeah. Do, do your boys watch wrestling? Not yet. Hello? Okay. Hello, Carol from New York. Is this you? How you doing? Yeah, how are you doing, Wendy? It's Wendy. Hi, I Carol. Believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> Suzanne's here too. Okay, so Carol, you are today's yeah. contestant on Wendy's Vacation Giveaway. Have you been watching our show every day on WNYW? Yes, yes I have. Perfect. Yes. Well, let's find out what you're playing for. Go ahead, Luce. Here we go. Oh, oh, no. No. Suzanne, do they make you the rotten pancakes on Mother's Day morning? Barely. And you have, to play, you have to play like you like them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Carol, okay, so yes. you see what you're playing for. You're playing for a trip to Cancun. Mr. Announcer, tell her all about it. You're playing for a five-day, four-night vacation at the all-inclusive Moon Palace Golf and Spa Resort in Cancun, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to Palace Resort's luxurious property, featuring beautiful beaches and an exciting nightlife. Okay, Carol, so there you have it. Yes. 
Cancun could be yours, but only if you guess correctly. I'm gonna ask you a question. You're gonna have 15 seconds to answer correctly, and your first answer is your only, okay? Yes, okay. Uh, all right, Carol. Yes. Yeah. So yesterday, Marsha Clark was on our show. She was a real life Hot Topic guest. What did she say she drank while watching the People vs. OJ miniseries? 15 seconds and go. Oh my God, this is so easy. Wine? Yes! Yes, Carol, congratulations. Oh, Have fun on your vacation. And thank, thank you for watching, thank Carol, bye-bye. If you'd like to play Wendy's Vacation Giveaway, please log on to my Facebook page to enter and make sure that you watch our show every day because we could ask you the most random thing and you gotta know it.